So here's some NR2003 uh, series drivers changes that you'll see in the next few races. I know I've been posting a lot of them, but they're getting good views, and honestly, I I sort of find it entertaining. If I find something else to post, I'll post something else. But this is pretty much what I'm doing so far. So yeah. There's gonna be no more double numbers throughout the season. Uh, there's already been enough cars made that I could just download and stuff like that. So, and plus, Christopher Bell and Cole Costa have done their 8 cup, cup races maximum to not be eligible for Rookie of the Year. I believe both of them have been below 20th in the standings as their current position. I know Custer had a chance to get to the chase, but he doesn't want to be a rookie this year, so... Yeah. So replacing Cole Custer will be the 96th of Parker Kligerman, who will race the full season. Unless, you know, something dumb happens. And replacing rookie Christopher Bell will be Jeffrey Earnhardt in the 81 as the 5th JGR car. He will race the next 8 races. No more. No less. I mean, unless he gets suspended, of course, which can't happen. Uh, so yeah, Obika Racing has shut down due to multiple wreck cars throughout the season. You can see five wreck pictures here. Obika Racing has shut down its operations. Replacing him is the 66 car of Timmy Hill, as you can see here. He will drive the rest of the season, or at least he's planning to, unless he wrecks as many cars as. Barry Hill has, but Barry Hill's wrecked 5 cars in 7 races. I do not think you can top that. But, yeah. I, I'm guessing that a lot of them have been from big wrecks like Daytona and Atlanta, but some of them have been like from his own stupidity, like Las Vegas and Bristol. Especially Bristol, that was what sort of ended it all. He had a completely clean car after that, but uh, he tried to, you know, pass all the carnage. He did a good job of that, but he just ran straight into the pick wall. As you could see on the bottom left corner. And the last thing you're going to see. Is that there's going to be a new replacement for the 3. So if you didn't watch the Bristol race. You know this is like where um, the 97 just went into the pick wall. But long story short. Everyone got jammed at the end. Because Austin Dillon brake checked the field. He was literally going 7 miles per hour in the apron. Like slanted. And that just caused a huge chain reaction. He has been suspended for two races, and replacing him is Tyler Reddick, uh, the 2018 series champion. Austin Dillon, like I did not include this in the slide, but he was ninth in points before he before the suspension, and he finished ninth at Bristol too, I believe. No, he finished eighth. But yeah, uh, is this gonna hurt Austin Dillon's season? No clue. But if Tyler Reddick could have a good two races, maybe he could. Uh, get into a third RCR team or something Like later throughout the season. So yeah, that's it for now and Thanks for watching like those are just the changes you'll be expecting to hear. This is only for two races Wow um, Oh by like Timmy Hills for the full season Jeffrey and Hart's for eight races and Kligerman is for the full season. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at Richmond